fire department finish doing their work for a minute, maybe. Okay, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. Uh, so, uh, five years ago, uh, when we introduced uh, this motion to get this started, um, there were members of the council and certainly plenty of members of the community in Los Angeles who thought that a goal of 100% clean energy was literally impossible to achieve. Um, not just that we couldn't do it by 2035, but it would be impossible to achieve that in a utility the size of the DWP. Well, one leader in our council who did not think that that was an impossible goal and who joined uh, with me on this motion as the, as the co-author of this motion was another of the great environmental leaders that we have on the city council, council member Mike Bonin, uh, who uh, along with me helped to get this uh, this journey started five years ago and has uh, seen this now to this important point. So I'm proud to introduce council member Mike Bonin. Uh, thank you, Paul, uh, and thank you for your leadership on this. Uh, thank you also to, to Matt Hale on your staff for the work that, that he has done on this over the years. Uh, thank you also to David Graham Casso on my staff, uh, and deep thanks to Councilman O'Farrell and his staff for the work that they have done uh, over the past several months uh, on this latest iteration to improve and strengthen and make this real. California is on fire. New Orleans is underwater. Huge stretches of this country are suffering from terrible drought. Over the past several months, in various places, including Europe, and even on the streets of Los Angeles, people have died as a result of climate change. For our children and for our grandchildren, for our families and for our friends, for our neighborhoods and for our planet, we need to get off fossil fuels immediately. We need to get to 100% clean energy. And here in Los Angeles, we have the power to do it. We own the biggest municipally owned utility in the country. We have the power and DWP has the power to make that transition to make that transition fast, to make that transition equitably, to make that transition justly, to make that transition right for our kids and for our planet. DWP, in what I described earlier today as a sea change from previous generations, is approaching this with gusto and with urgency and with a true commitment. They are leading the way nationally, and they are leading the way globally. But the city, the council, DWP, we cannot lead unless we follow. Unless we follow the passion and commitment and desire of our communities that want this done with good jobs and economic development, with a path to address the scourge of environmental racism and environmental injustice in the city and across this planet. We cannot do it unless we follow the likes of the LA Business Council, unless we follow the likes of the Sierra Club, unless we follow the likes and the energy of Food and Water Watch and of Pacoima Beautiful, and all of the people who have dedicated themselves to this and have pushed us to this moment. We have the power to get off fossil fuels. We have the power to get to 100% clean energy, and we are going to do it. Thank you.